see this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances for this a nigga with some counterfeits. What is up guys? Welcome back to the German Muscle Channel. So since last night I've been talking to this guy about possibly trading this car right here for my dream car. So um I was talking to the guy, I asked him how the car was, if I had a title, all that stuff. And this car is like 50 something years old. So when I say my dream car, I mean it's an actual dream car because these cars are getting harder and harder to find that are cheap. So, um, it's a 1964 Chevrolet Impala, and that's my dream car. And a car that I found last night had to be a 64 Impala SS, which means super sport. And the guy said it's a numbers matching car and all that. Um, he lives about three hours away from where I live at, which is fine because I'll just take my friend's car and go check it out. I asked if he wanted to trade this car right here, it's BMW, for the 64 Impala. It runs and drives, and uh, the floor pans are completely shot because he uh, parked it in grass. Which I'm not worried about it because my uncle's a mechanic, and he's been a mechanic since he was pretty much born. And uh, he actually lived on a farm that had uh, more cars on the pasture than cows and bulls. There's about 150 cars, and... Uh, the actual landlord, they knew the landlord. They knew him since high school. And uh, the landlord was actually like a pervert. And uh, he would get with girls and buy them cars. And when they would split up, he would keep the car and just park it on his land. <laughs> but uh, he was a fireman. And uh, he started collecting all kinds of fire trucks and stuff like that. So there was probably about 100 fire trucks and 150 cars. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... My uncle has pretty much every tool that you can imagine. I was going to take it to my uncle, rip out the floor, cut out all the rusty metal, and uh, slap a new floor skin in. And uh, it was going to be a restoration and rebuild. Um, 64 Impala is my dream car. Um, I even have a tattoo of one. I've wanted one since I was like really young. But uh, anyways, if any of you guys out there have a 1964 Impala, that you guys want to trade for this bad car then uh let me know in the comments no i'm not trolling i know this car is worth a lot i know 64 impalas are worth a lot more than this but uh yeah if you guys go back and watch all my videos you guys will know that this car is a bad car um it just needs a little bit of work to it and uh like the uh it needs a rear alignment done because every time I drive forward and back up, you can hear like a clunking sound. Because the uh, rear lower control arm isn't tightened down all the way. And I haven't really messed with that since I put it on. And uh, that's basically about it. Uh, besides the battery is a really small battery. BMWs take a battery that's probably about as big as a steering wheel. And uh, the previous owner put a tiny one in it. So it's probably about this size right here. Um... But yeah, that's basically it. So, if any of you guys are interested in this car right here, and you guys want to trade for a 1964 Impala, let me know in the comments. Because uh, if you guys live in Ohio, I'll definitely drive to you. If you guys are close enough, and uh, yeah. So, if you guys want to trade a 2002 BMW 325i 5 speed. For a 64 Impala, it can be automatic or 5 speed, I don't care. As long as it runs and drives and has a title and it's not completely rotted out, I will drive to you and trade straight up. So, this car has like 184 horsepower for an inline 6, but this thing's got a little pep in the step. It's pretty quick. So, yeah, that's all I have for this video. I figured I would. Uh, make a little short video for you guys seems how it's raining and I can't really work on the video that I was working on earlier so yeah um, this car is gonna look brand new by the time I get done with it and uh, it's gonna be done right so you ain't gotta worry about uh, paint peeling or anything like that so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video peace Think about
to get on my channel Give your life to be a solidified This motherfucking shit is like Rambo When he's out of bullets So we're good as a fucking machine gun When it's out of ammo